King Von was one of the wildest dudes in the rap game. Most fans know a little about his street activities, but today we're taking a look at the wildest jail videos from when he was locked up on a murder charge. A lot of dudes behind bars were fighting their cells to avoid getting caught by the guards, but Von was so ready for action, he didn't care who was around. A surveillance video from the jail shows him jumping someone with his homie right in front of a guard. The two of them beat the guy all the way down the hallway and the guard don't do nothing but get out of their way. Eventually some more guards showed up and pepper sprayed him and that's when Vaughn ducked off to wipe his face. After it went down, the guards interviewed Vaughn about the situation. When they asked him what happened, What did he make? He was in the hallway. He was in the hallway. He was in the corner. For no reason? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got any injuries? Yeah. Did you receive medical attention? No, I talked to the um, counselor. I ain't getting no... Psych, you talked to psych staff? Yeah. Okay. And you say you didn't receive medical attention? Uh-uh. Okay. All right. It's not clear who the dude was that he jumped or why Vaughn had problems with him. When the video leaked, some people online dissed Vaughn for jumping the dude instead of running the fade one-on-one. -on -one. But Vaughn's only goal was to catch the ops lacking, not start a fair fight. He even rapped about it on the track Get It Done and said, Hope you don't think it's you the only one. Riding around this bitch, we doing murder one. Me and Peasy, we gon' get it done. Jump a nigga ass, ain't no one-on-ones. That wasn't even the only time Vaughn got maced after jumping someone behind bars. Recently, a new jail video leaked that shows one of Vaughn's homies throwing hands with a dude in the mess hall. There was guards standing around just a few feet away, but that ain't stopped Vaughn from swinging on the op. As soon as Vaughn jumped in, another dude ran up on him and tried to get a shot in. But Vaughn turned around and dropped the dude before the guards started spraying mace everywhere again. One of the wildest videos of Vaughn in jail is from when he caught an op in the bullpen right before he was supposed to go to court. Someone leaked a video where King Vaughn was in the same holding cell as a dude named 051 Freaky. Vaughn had his homie help him slip off the cuffs, then he walked Freaky down and started throwing wild punches. While Vaughn packed him out, another dude walked up and started kicking Freaky. Then his homie who helped him with the cuffs got a kick in too right before the guards rushed in and saved Freaky. Dudes on the inside get into fights over petty issues all the time, but there's a reason why Vaughn wanted to put hands on 051 Freaky like that. Back in 2013, a BD that Vaughn was tight with named L.A. Capone was killed outside of a recording studio. Capone and his homie finished laying down tracks and went through an alley to find their whip and lead. And that's when shots started flying out of nowhere. L.A. Capone took shots in the back and leg and was rushed to the hospital. According to reports, he was still alert and talking when he got to the hospital, but tragically, he lost too much blood and was pronounced dead later that night. Around a year later, two 051 affiliates named Saki Hardy Johnson and Michael Mays was arrested around a year later and told the cops that they grabbed a gun and headed straight to the studio to catch L.A. Capone. They also had a dude named Miko Buchanan driving another whip that would be a distraction in case police arrived on scene. All three of them went down for the murder and are serving decades in prison. And that's why Freaky says he got a tattoo that says, fuck LA. He ain't have any personal beef with LA, but he told DJ UTV that he lost his homies over the situation, so he wanted to get the tattoo for them. What's crazy about the situation is that Freaky got a tattoo dissing an op and don't even claim it's set no more. Freaky might not have had issues with Capone personally, but that definitely ain't mattered to Vaughn when he saw the tat dissing his dad homie. According to Freaky, Vaughn and him were on the same deck and saw each other without cuffs all the time and didn't have any issues. And on the day Vaughn put the beating on him, Freaky says he walked into the bullpen and shook his hand before it went down. The cops didn't even know how Vaughn slipped out of his cuffs like that. They confirmed the cuffs had been put on the right way because he had marks from them on his arm. When they asked him how he slipped out, Vaughn told him, I thought I was still in him. When the guards tried to make Vaughn give a statement about what went down, he said, You refuse to give a statement? That's my statement right there. I ain't, I ain't they had him on camera slipping the cuffs and beating Freaky, but Vaughn knew that admitting to it wasn't going to make the situation any better for him, so he just denied everything. Freaky ain't saying anything either. When the guards questioned him about what went down, he told them, Slight it's nothing though. Getting beat up while you in cuffs like that is rough. But in his DJ UTV interview, Freaky still gave props to Vaughn and said he was one of the toughest dudes in jail. Apparently, he's been locked up on the same deck as other BDs like Rondo Number no. 9, and none of them have ever pressed him over the fuck LA tag. Vaughn was the only one who stood up for his dead homie, and you can tell Freaky had respect for him even though they was ops. Another crazy video that came out is when Vaughn told the guards he was gay so he could get moved to a different area of the jail. Vaughn told the guards he couldn't be on the same deck as Jeff McGraw, aka Lil J, and that they were trying to kill him over there. He told the CEO that the dudes over there are Christians, but they have a problem with gay people. They supposed to be a Christian deck, but they got a problem with gay people. 
The guard asked him if he was requesting protective custody because of his sexual orientation, and Vaughn said yes. So because of your sexual orientation, you're requesting protective custody, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Vaughn even saw a dude on the other side of the doors and said, Bye, look, Josh. I'm gonna fuck you too. A lot of people were shocked that Vaughn asked for protective custody, but that wasn't the full story. When the whole video came out, one of the guards said that he offered Vaughn protective custody, but he turned it down because he wanted to move across the hall. It's not clear why Vaughn wanted to switch decks. His homie Lil Reese confirmed that Vaughn was just trying to get moved. Yeah, I know I know he was playing because shit, he was trying to get moved to a new deck, so that's that's what you gotta do sometime. You gotta play like that. But a dude named 051 Kiddo says there's other ways to get moved. In an interview, he said he would never act gay because you can just play the mental health card and get the same treatment. According to him, Me? I don't wanna do that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play the mental health part mm -hmm. on both. Because I could just sit on watch three days, you know, from they gonna move me to where the fuck I wanna move me to. But later in the interview, he said that maybe that wouldn't work anymore because so many dudes were using it to switch decks and the CEO stopped believing them. Vaughn got into a lot of fights while he was locked up, but it seems like he was just trying to cause as many issues as possible for the guards. Another video came out where he walked around with a handful of pills and showed it off to the cameras and the CEOs right next to him. Then Vaughn started popping them right in their faces. Popping pills in front of the guards is crazy. But a couple years ago, a video came out allegedly showing King Von trying to burn the whole jail down. In the video, an inmate piles up a bunch of uniforms next to a door in a cell block and sets them on fire. It takes a little while to get going, but then the entire place is full of smoke and everyone was trapped inside. Rumors was flying that King Von was the dude who started the fire, but it turns out it was actually a dude named Raymond Pendleton and it went down in an area of the jail that's for problematic detainees who engage in sexual misconduct. According to reports, Vaughn was booked on a murder charge when all these videos were recorded. Back in 2014, Vaughn showed up to a house party and spotted some ops hanging outside. Instead of crashing out by himself, Vaughn left and got his homie Big Mike to come back with him. When they got to the spot, the ops saw him walking up and started letting off shots. Vaughn and Mike started busting back and chasing him down. Mike caught one of them in the jaw and Vaughn caught the other in the foot. But tragically, an innocent bystander got hit and died. Malcolm Stuckey was playing basketball in college and only showed up to the party to celebrate his homie's birthday. Unfortunately, the celebration turned into a tragedy and he lost his life over a situation that he wasn't even involved in. Big Mike got brought in for questioning first and flipped on Vaughn immediately and told the police everything. He was going to testify in the trial against Vaughn and probably would have sent him away for life. But at the last second, he changed his mind and took his own 28-year sentence instead. Mike's testimony was the best evidence the cops had on Vaughn, so when he stopped cooperating, they dropped Vaughn's case and he skated on the murder charge. According to some people, Big Mike is the one who helped Vaughn slip off his cuffs when he put hands on 051 Freaky. Obviously at that point, Vaughn ain't know Mike was working with the police, because otherwise, he's the one who would've got beat up instead of Freaky. Vaughn's wild behavior put him in the spotlight and is keeping his name alive, but it's also what led to him getting killed back in 2020 when he swung on Quando Rondo and ended up getting shot. He spent so much time in the streets and behind bars that it would have been hard to break that mentality. And unfortunately, the rap game lost one of its hottest new artists even though he had the opportunity and money to leave all the drama behind.